Hello, if you're a follower of mine, you'll know that homegrown veg is based in the United Kingdom. And our drink of choice is tea. We're a nation of tea drinkers. But just occasionally we will have a coffee and perhaps a beer. Um, but I've been having neither recently because of this lockdown. Uh, I'll go out for a beer. Yeah, I can drink beer at home. But going out for a beer is much better. I can drink coffee at home. Yeah, I can do that. But going out for a coffee is much better, isn't it? Just tastes better somehow. Um, so prior to lockdown, we would go to places like Costa, Starbucks, we would go to our local coffee shop. And all of them were giving away coffee grounds free to gardeners. Check this out. So I've used those coffee grounds over the years. I've just mixed it in with um, my soil-based compost. And yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It, 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 it's a good, um, good fertiliser. It's a good additive. It's pH neutral. The worms love it. That can't be a bad thing, can it? If the worms like it. And uh, yeah, I've used lots of uh, coffee grounds before. One thing I've never used is tea. I've never recycled tea and it's always struck me as being a bit messy but I was just about to throw this box out let me show you this what it says right on the bottom of the box have you got that biodegradable Woo! is that a, a posh word for recyclable <laughs> Biodegradable, we like the look of that. And I like the look of what's on the back of the box even more. There's a diagram that shows me that after we've had our plant-based cup of tea, then that tea bag can go into a food waste bin or recycler. It will break down, it'll biodegrade into compost and it can go back to nature. Let me show you this. Now for this to work, for this to work, you need a food waste bin where you can segregate anything that you're going to recycle, these two bags included, and then you can recycle them into your, into your mix, into your uh, compost, can't you? And if you haven't got that, if you haven't got one of those recycling bins, then a compost pile, you could probably put them on a compost pile. Well, I've got to tell you, I've got neither. I've got neither. I haven't got a bin and I haven't got a compost pile and the reason I've got neither of those two is because I've only got a small garden. I mean small. You know there is no room for a compost pile and there is no room for a compost bin and there's always a worry with compost piles and compost bins that you're going to get a smell. So it's a non-starter. But what if we could just growing tea bags. Do we really need to go through all this? What if we just planted something in tea bags? What do you think?
tell you what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to collect up enough used tea bags to fill a 10 inch water bucket and we're going to plant a potato in tea bags. No soil. I may add some fertiliser, I don't know yet. I still need to save these tea bags up. But when I've done it, we'll finish this video. We'll plant that potato in that 10 inch bucket in these tea bags. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's just um, check we've got everything before we make a start here. We've got our gloves. We've got our recycled tea bags, used tea bags, biodegradable tea bags. We've got our X cut flower water bucket, recycled into a bucket for growing vegetables in. We've got a sawn off pop bottle. We've got a potato plant. This is a potato called Jazzy. Jazzy is a recycled potato. It came off the veg rack indoors and a recycled yogurt pot. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to empty these tea bags out like this. Okay. And because I don't believe there'll be much sustenance in these tea bags to grow anything in, I'm going to add half a cup of blood fish and bone just to spark it up a bit, just to make sure there's some nutrients in there so that this potato plant hopefully can thrive. I don't know that it will um, and at this point I would, I would urge you not to follow me on this one just yet because I've never done this before. I've never tried to grow anything in used tea bags before um, and so I don't know that it'll work and I don't want to send you down a garden path so to speak on something that won't work um, so what I'd suggest you do is yeah watch this video to the end and you'll see the potato going in that bucket now I do that um, but wait a month or two and there will be a follow-up video and in that follow-up video hopefully um, I'll be able to show you some progress um, and ultimately I'm hoping that I'm going to be harvesting potatoes from this uh, from these used tea bags will it work I don't know I've never done it before have I um, you, so just stick with it and what we're going to do is as usual it's usually two inches of soil in the bottom of this bucket it's going to be two inches of tea bags that looks like two inches of tea bags to me okay We'll just move these over here for the time being. And we'll pop this bucket here. Okay, let's take the gloves off for a moment. And get this potato out of here. Now, 
I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. It's not a potato anymore, is it? It's a potato plant. It's got all these roots and it's got these shoots. That's a potato plant. Inside this root ball is one jazzy potato that I took from the uh, veg rack indoors some months ago. And since then it's been growing on on a windowsill in that yoghurt pot. How's that? That's looking good. I'm going to fill this now with these tea bags, the rest of the tea bags. What I don't want them to do is damage any of this top grow. So we're going to protect it using this sawn off pot bottle. How's that? Put the gloves back on because we're going to stick our hands in that mix of tea bags and blood fish and bone. We'll just pop this top back on here, like this. And we'll see if we can do this. Just let them go in like that. Now none of these tea bags are actually touching that potato plant, so there's no chance that they're going to damage it as they drop into the bucket. How's that? How's that? Okay, now all that remains for us to do is to remove this pop bottle, shake these two bags in. Let's give this a go. How easy was that? <laughs> How easy was that? Okay, will it work? No idea. We'll find out in a month or two's time, won't we? Um, so, I hope to see you in a month or two's time when we put the follow up video up. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.